Okay, we are joined on the dais by South Florida head coach Amir Abdur Rahim, Selton Miguel, and Chris Youngblood. Coach, before we get into questions, could you just give us some thoughts on today's game? Absolutely. Um, first off, all praise to the Most High. Uh, been a great experience, you know, me being in my first American Athletic Conference tournament. Uh, but more importantly, it's been a great experience, and I'm, I'm just thankful for God's presence and his guidance to allow me to be here with this group of guys. Uh, it's a really special group um, that have nothing to hang their heads about. They've had a phenomenal year um, for a team that was picked ninth, I guess, or whatever it was in the preseason. For us to win the regular season by two games with two weeks left says a lot about this group of guys, their resolve, their perseverance, their connection. So, you know, we're not going to hang our heads. We're going to walk with our heads high, and to God be the glory. All right, we'll start in here. If anybody has a question, please raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you in the back on the right. Coach, Rob Steeg with the Bay Area Examiner. Obviously a very physical game. Was that the game plan coming into the game was to be physical and, and drive to the paint, or, or what was the game plan coming in to counter UAB's offense there? Um, the game plan was to be who we've been all year. Uh, f defensively, we try to be a physical team, not try to be who we are. We are, we, we were the league's best defense. Um, and we did, a, I thought today we did the job we were supposed to do. Um, and UAB, credit to them, they did a really good job of taking advantage of the, their size in the post and creating second chance opportunities. They were able to get 16 points off of second chance opportunities and then we needed to do a better job of taking care of the ball. When we take care of the ball, we're pretty good, man. But to have, uh, we only had, I say we didn't take care of it, we only had eight turnovers, but they had 14 points off of those eight turnovers. So we needed to be better in that area. But the game plan was to come out and play hard. I'm not, I'm not disappointed whatsoever in, in our guys' effort. You know, we were shorthanded today. No excuses, man. We had guys step up and play. Man, I, I love being the, being the coach of this group. Gotcha. And then follow-up question. You mentioned the shorthanded. Um, Corey Walker's status obviously didn't play today. Um, yeah. How's he doing? He's doing better. He's doing better just we're always going to put our student athletes first. Um, it's not about a game, man. This is a game. You know, what, I, what, what we wanted to make sure was was that everything was all right. We got some tests ran on them last night. Things came back, but we needed a, a more important test um, that we weren't able to get done until earlier this afternoon. But he's doing well, and um, he'll, be, he'll be with us on our way back to Tampa. And then one more question. Um, Jaden Reed today was, was outstanding. Uh, Andy Kennedy had a lot of praise for him as well. Um, can you just speak to, to Jaden Reed today and, and his effort? Um, I say this humbly, and I say this not to take anything away from whoever won the award. But Jaden Reed, and you can call me biased, but Jaden Reed is the freshman of the year in our conference. Okay, Jaden Reed played a major factor on the team that won the regular season championship. Um, I, I think the conference tournaments are fun. Don't get me wrong, I really do. I don't want, I don't want to take them away. But for, to be consistent for two and a half months and again, win the regular season by two games with a, a weekend, some change left or whatever it was. And for him to play the role he played, he should have been freshman of the year in our league. But he was freshman of the year in my book, so I'll take it all day. Um, but he was phenomenal today, and he had to be. You know, again, you know, he and, K, he and KP both, um, they played, you know, really heavy minutes uh, just because we were shorthanded. They did a great job. Anyone else in here with a question? Chuck, we have anybody on Zoom? Sure, use the raise hand feature, please, to get in the queue. We'll go to Joey Knight, please, Tampa Bay Times. Can you fellas hear me? Yep. Yes. Um, coach, I know you're very proud of your team and probably don't uh, lend too much credence to what the bracketologists say, but they say now that you're out of the tournament. What, what's your response to that? With all due respect, I, I don't know who the bracketologists are. Um, I guess they have a team somewhere sequestered. But what I would say is this. Um, if you want to see what South Florida is all about, if you want to see if we're one of the best 68 teams, Put us in one of those first four games. Put, put us against your best team, all right? Put us against your best team. Whoever it is in that first four, come see about us, all right? Because this ain't the same old South Florida. 
okay? Um, this, this group of guys, they just went 24 and seven, I guess it was in the regular season, um, 16 and two, and we were 73 in a net. Um, and again, this is, I'm saying this not to take anything away from any of the other teams in our conference, but we got just as many quad one wins as in the RPI as, as Florida Atlantic. We got just as many quad twos, just as many quad threes, and I think more quad fours, right? But you don't look at quad fours. But again, last thing I say is this, we're, we're in the NCAA, right? This is the tournament we're talking about getting to. This is supposed to be higher education. What are we teaching our kids by saying, hey, be consistent for two months, be the most consistent you can be, grow, continue to come together, all right? And we won't reward you for that. What are we doing, guys? Like, come on, man. All right, be better. Bracketologist. It's hard to follow up that, but I did have one follow up. Um, Sam and Jose, what happened to them during the course of the game? You were short. I don't want to get fined, Joey. I'm going to pass on that question. Okay. Any questions for the student athletes? I got a question. Is that okay? Sure. This first one is for Selton. Selton, for people that say we're out of the tur we're out of the tournament, what would you say to them about our year and why we should be in the tournament? I would say just like you say, <clears throat> um, you went twenty seven and four twenty four and seven? Yeah. Twenty seven twenty four and seven. Uh, it's not easy to do. 16 and two, the conference. I don't think no the teams did there in any conference. It was they had the 15 largest win in the country. So I, I would just say that you should like look at it, what we did, not at the conference because a lot of people were saying our conference this, our conference this. We got one of the best teams in the conference. Like I said, like we got FAU, it was the favorite the whole time. We beat them. We got Memphis, we beat them. It was ranked top top 25 the whole time. So y'all should look at that too, though. For Chris, all right. Um, man, really good year by both of you guys. But Chris, talk to me about the group of guys you get to go to, go to battle with every day and, and what people could look forward to seeing that group in that NCAA tournament. This group showed humility, consistency, and toughness throughout the whole season. And no matter, even we start off the year two and four with some bad losses. Well, not bad with respect to other teams, but some losses we didn't prefer. We, like, we could have easily folded. Then we went, we knocked out with 15 games in a row, stayed humble throughout all that. So just a, a tough, humble team, and that's going to give it to you the same way every night. And the last thing I say to that, I can't. Think I don't know how many it was, but we guys we had a six-game win streak and then we had a 15-game win streak. So we won 20. 21. If you count 22, if you count yesterday, um, 22 out of our last what would it have been? 20 what? 24. We won 22 out of our last 24 games. You know, with all due respect to the bracketologists, and I mean, you guys got a job to do. You guys are great. Don't get me wrong. I've been watching the brackets since I was a kid. But a team that wins 22 out of 24 games, you're going to leave them out of the NCAA tournament? Man, God bless you guys. <laughs> we have one in the back. Just one final question. Um, you know, obviously, throughout the entire year, the, the same old South Florida nomenclature kept on popping up, you know, uh, I, to give you kind of a little bit of a platform, what's the message going forward for USF fans next year? The message is always going to be to start, to God be the glory. But after that, get used to us. Get used to this. Because every night we're going to put a team out on the floor that represents our campus, that represents our community, and they play their hearts out. That's what it's about. You know, again, I'm in the business of molding men. 
I just so happen to have the title of head coach. I'm in the business of molding men. And so every day that we take the, we take the court, every day they go to, 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 to class, you know, we're trying to teach habits that um, are consistent across the board. I, I shared this yesterday, Chad with Bozeman, he said that you'd rather find purpose than find a job, right? Because purpose crosses disciplines. Habits, they cross disciplines. It doesn't matter what you decide to do. Chris and Selton both are going to be successful basketball players. They already are successful collegiate basketball players. They're going to be successful professional basketball players. But then whenever, whenever that, that, they, that guy catches up with them, whenever Father Tom says, hey, slow down, can't run that fast anymore, you can't jump that high, they're going to be successful husbands. They're going to be successful fathers. They're, they're going to be successful entrepreneurs or CEOs of Fortune 500 companies because the habits that they've learned to build through this game, they cross disciplines. And that's the message. Get ready, stay ready. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Go Thank Bulls. you to Chad Smith, too, USID, for his help.